All right, so here we are in Mount Julia, Tennessee, and we got a situation going on in the floor right here. Okay, now this is the same tile that's in the kitchen, and there's some certain, certain things that need to be done into the subfloor if you're going to be laying tile, especially if you're going to be laying big 14-inch tile, and it's very thin. Uh, that stuff is very fragile. So there can be no deflection in your floor system. I mean, it could be a little bit, but you can't have it where you have somebody that's really heavy walking on your tile and making your floor system flex. Because what happens is the little grout lines that are in there, they're not, uh, not going to hold up to heavy weight. I had a job one time where we, we grouted it, but the uh, floor system was on 19.2 instead of 16 inch centers. And the people who lived in there were kind of large people. And as they walked through, they would crack this grout line almost every single time. So I ended up having to go back with a latex grout that was really you know, stretchy. It was uh, kind of like caulk with the grout mixed into it. That was the solution for that. That. But this right here, the tile's cracked right there, and you can see, and actually underneath it, I believe there is a hole, if you'll see right here on the step. It's pretty flexy. So we're going to get in here and tear this tile out and investigate the subfloor, find out what's going on. We'll probably have to remove that toilet right there, but right now, we're going to dig in this tile and figure out what's going on. All right, guys, I'll check back in with you. Holla. What's that gorilla today? Oh, we should figure out which one's on top and start with that one, which is this one. It might be what's the only thing holding this floor up. This stuff is It is not a good situation. I'm hoping that all this rot is just the Luan and that the subfloor looks at least halfway better than this because if the subfloor is in this kind of shape, we have problems. Oh no, I'm stepping right there and I can feel it. It is very soft right there. So yeah, we're we'll probably gonna have to place the subfloor. Yeah, oh sure, for sure, for sure. Almost went through it, almost went through it. Uh, subfloor issues, subfloor issues. All right, all right, guess we'll get to it. Alright guys, so here's the situation so far. This all needs to be replaced. And as I'm looking at it, I realized that this is half inch plywood. Okay, so when we were talking yesterday about deflection, you can see that these are 2x12s. That's a 2x12 floor system, so that's pretty beefy. The thing is, is it's half inch plywood. So there was a lot of deflection. So you know, if you you can see what I'm saying, if you have a you got 16 inches right here, right? But the, the tile is 14 inches. So 14 and a half in between right there. If one whole tile is in between that, there's nothing really supporting the tile itself. If it's just sitting on half inch plywood and Luon, it needs to have backer board on it. It needs to have a thin set bed, something that's a strong base so that tile will not flex. Because once the tile flexes, it's only a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch thick. So it will crack. So once it starts cracking and water gets down in there, well, you get this. So uh, one thing I will say that I'm excited about to know is that the floor joists run this way instead of running this way because you're always worried about whether or not there's a floor joist here or just on the other side because I want to go ahead and try to replace all of this plywood right here. And I like to go back with three, three quarter inch plywood, which means I'm gonna probably have to just replace the whole bathroom. So that's what we're getting into today. It is the morning and we are on day two of this. So we, uh, this is where we are. All right, guys. I'll check back in with you.
Right, so it's looking like <clears throat> there's half inch here, and then there's either three eighths or half inch there, and then they had some glue on it. So I might get lucky and just be able to cap it with a half inch, but then go back, replace this with half inch first, and then cap it back with the half inch. That way I have one inch of subfloor going on there. It looks like there's a clean break right there. As you can see, the seam comes together. So I should be able to lift that up right there. I may have to do some patching over there, but I think we're going to get lucky right here. So we'll see. That all needs to be tore out still, but underneath, this is so far the only bottom, bottom subfloor that needs to be replaced. We'll get it figured out. Say hey, we could probably set some plans, but there is no plan. Like there's literally no plan. I don't even know how it lasted this long. What is going on here? There is gonna have to be some major plumbing going on here. I don't even see the flange. God. I don't even see it. Is that? I don't know what this is. I don't even know what any of this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the flange. Oh, it's broke for sure. Uh, we just need to cut that off. Yeah, we just need to cut it. I'd say probably just need to cut it like right there and just redo the whole thing. Luckily, I think I have a whole kit out in my truck for this. Just situation. So I marked it over here on the 16 for that floor joist, but my nails ran through this, so I'm going to pull them out and slice them up with my blade. Guys, we are down, we are in, we are up pretty tight over there, so that's nice. Alright, just not screwing it down.
remember the screws need to be like this so that when you because the toilet's going to sit like this so we want to make sure we put the screws in the right spot stuck in there. Just like that. I was a little concerned that uh, it was going to be too low, but I think I got it where the LVP will slide right up underneath there. So if I can lift the pipe up any, anyways. So that's good. Alright. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Well, that's my first flange, guys. So what do you think of that? you but I'm glad that's over that was the hard part now we get to the fun stuff you know how we do it here at UFloor we went with an LVP and you know what I decided to go ahead and do the whole bathroom while I was at it why just stop at the floor so we gave it a new fresh coat of paint I also painted the cabinets white and painted the trim again it turned out great and hey you guys I did a little something special up underneath the toilet so if you guys are looking for how I did that check out the video that I made on that specific way to cut trim other than that this turned out a success in my opinion hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications <laughs>